Hi, Jillian Ahonen here. I thought I'd pull over and record a little video and share with you something that I experienced this week. Wait, what's today? I don't even know. Maybe it was last week. I don't even know what day it is. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Oh, today's Thursday. Yes, it was this week. It was Monday. Um, am I the only one with this whole coronavirus thing, quarantine, figuring it out? Like, I don't know what day it is. Like, legitimately, I have to question it all the time. I, it's crazy. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share with you because I was, I went through a period of time where I was just, um, I, I guess the word I should use to, to help you understand was a depression was just over me. Um, I just felt a heaviness. I felt oppressed. I felt pushed down. I felt like, um, I was army crawling through my day. Literally. I just felt like I was surviving and I really just couldn't wait to go to bed at night. Um, which I have had experiences like this several times in my life and they're usually for a reason. Um, something I'm going through is just hard or heavy. And so I kind of know how to function um, through depression until it lifts, um, whether it's getting into a heart of praise or just praying or just sometimes depression is really grieving a loss. Um, and so I don't want to talk about all the different whys for depression. I just kind of want to share with you just this one corner, one pocket of what I experienced that probably was more than a month. I mean, I felt like it was a lifetime, but, um, anyway, I just felt heavy. I felt really, really pushed down every single day. And I really, really struggled to get through my days. I mean, yeah, it was awful and not fun. And, um, I, I normally can connect with this much faster. So it's crazy that I even let it go on this long, but I thought, you know what? I really feel like this is worth sharing because I think a lot of people live under this oppression or depression or this heaviness. Um, and you don't need to, you don't need to, it's not yours and God wants to lift it. And, um, so anyway, now that you know, I, just kind of, I allowed myself to live under this for way too long. And I could easily chalk it up to what's going on in our world, what's going on in my country, um, the climate and what it just, it's, it's crazy. There's a lot going on right now. And I, I don't really want to touch on that. I want to really stay focused on not wearing our atmosphere. Cause the truth is, is we are spiritual beings and it's not always circumstantial depression. Sometimes it's just the, the, the spirit realm that we're actually feeling. Um, I am a feeler. I can feel what other people are feeling. I can feel atmospheres when I go into certain rooms. Um, and I can normally recognize it and I put on my armor and I just, I don't wear it. I don't walk in it. I'm like, Nope, that's not mine. But I know a lot of times it's a call to pray. Um, but for whatever reason, I was not connecting. I was literally allowing myself to be in this place. Um, and I finally got fed up. I, I was, um, it didn't matter what I said, what I did. I couldn't get, I couldn't shake it and I couldn't get rid of it. And I just was tired of army crawling through my every single day. And I just was like, surviving my life is not the call. <laughs> that is not what Jesus died on the cross for me to have. He wants me to fully live. I'm fully alive in him. And it doesn't matter what's going on around me. He is my joy. He is my strength. He is my peace. And so I went out on my run and I'm in a lot of physical pain right now. I'm believing that I'm going to get full healing and I'm doing everything that I can, um, that I need to do to take care of it. Um, so I'm in a lot of physical pain. Um, but I'm one of those weirdos where I don't care. I'm going to go running anyways, because I like it. I need it. It's part of my time with God and my worship time and my prayer time. And it's just honestly my only time away from, um, just the demand of being a mom and a wife. And, uh, so it's really important for me. So anyway, I'm in a lot of physical pain. Um, and this particular day, I think it was Monday. Um, I was going to do two rounds of one of my routes that I have, which is two miles each. So about four miles uh, total on this run. And so the first two miles, 
I was just listening to worship music, which is normal. It's what I do. Um, and just decided to put myself in a heart of praise. Um, really thinking like this is going to lift this heaviness that I feel. Um, and I still felt heavy. It didn't go away. And I thought, oh, okay. I really expected it to be gone with just listening to worship music. Cause a lot of times that works. Um, and I started like those thoughts started creeping in. Like I'm in so much physical pain. I am so tired of this. Um, I'm tired of this heaviness. I'm tired of feeling this way. I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, you know, and what I realized is I was fixating on what I'm tired of and what I don't like. And that's the shift. That's what I did. I was like, wait a second. You know what? It doesn't matter if I'm feeling my atmosphere. This battle belongs to you, Lord. You know what's going on. You are a good God. You are always moving. You are always working. And I'm getting on your page. And I trust you fully, God. And, it, and maybe I have taken in a little too much about what's going on in my world. And my heart is so grieved, which is fine. It is good to be grieved in our spirits. But we shouldn't be wearing in it and living under in it. That is not ours. And that is not God's heart for us. And I started to realize that I was living under this oppression, I was giving it too much power. And I started to declare the power that is in me that belongs to me. And I started to say things like the joy and the peace that is in you is mine. There is nothing that can take that away. It doesn't matter what circumstance I'm facing or what circumstance I am walking through. Peace and joy belongs to me because of Jesus. And I am claiming that peace and I am claiming that joy and I am declaring that over me. And I just started declaring the truth and declaring that God has got it. He has got my battles. He has got the world's battles. I'm going to get on his page. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to speak out his truth. Um, I'm going to love fiercely. I'm going to love well. And, um, and peace belongs to me because of Jesus and his joy is my strength. And I'm going to wear that and I'm going to walk in that. And then I started giving thanks. I'm in physical pain, but I'm still moving. And I'm like, you know what? I'm in physical pain. And while you, I believe that you're healing my body and I am going to do the things that I need to do to get my body back in alignment. Um, thank you for the movement that I do have. Thank you that I can go out in this beautiful area and, and run and take care of my temple that is for your glory. And Thank you for a refrigerator with food in it. And thank you for my children. And thank you for my hardworking husband. And thank you for my car. And thank you for my sunglasses so that I don't squint my eyes because the sun, I'm very sensitive. Anyway, and it sounds so silly. I mean, I started thanking God for just the tiniest little things I could think of. I'm like, thank you, God, for these trees. They're so pretty. Thank you, God, for these fluffy, fla these fluffy clouds. I love looking at them. Thank you for sunsets. Thank you for my Bible. Thank you for that freedom. Thank you that I can wake up and I can read your word every single day and I could just soak in your truth. Thank you that I'm not afraid to walk outside of my door and talk about you. I just love the freedom that I have in you. And I'm telling you that heaviness and that depression and that oppression that I lived under for over a month left and it hasn't come back hasn't come back. Why? Because I declared the truth of who my God is, what I have in him. And I gave thanks and praise. I shifted everything off of the why, the how, the what, the who, the where, the when, all the uncertainty. I came out of agreement with it. I went into praise and worship and then praising him and declaring him and thanking him for what I do have. And I have been in seasons where I really didn't feel like I had a lot to be thankful for because I felt like my whole world was turned upside down with really, really hard circumstances. And I wrote about a lot of them in my book, Life is Muddy. So if you haven't picked that up, you should. <laughs> it's a good book. I'm getting a lot of uh, incredible and humbling feedback on how it's really, really impacting people, men and women alike. So pick it up. Um, but I do share a lot about the devastations that I've gone through and 
sometimes it feels like you really don't have anything to be thankful for. And one of the things that um, somebody told me years ago, she says, you don't thank God for what you don't have. You thank God for what you do have. And that's the shift. The small example, I'm in a lot of pain. And rather than focusing on my pain, I focused on the fact I have, I have some movement. I, I have this. I'm going to thank you for this, God. And um, I'm telling you, I don't know who needs to hear this video today, but I have a feeling that there's a lot of you that are just feeling the heaviness of life, whether it's personal circumstances, circum uh, circumstantial world, um, what's going on in our country and things like that, and just the heaviness and, and the fighting and the wars. And there's a lot of good things, but there's a lot of hard things going on. Um, shift your focus. Remember who is in control. Remember uh, that we're fully alive in him, that, that God does not want us to half live and survive our days. He wants us to be victorious through him. That means always every single day. And honestly, I think about Paul who was in prison and wrote the majority of the new Testament. I mean, the majority of his writings, he was in prison. And I'm like, the dude was free. The dude was at peace. The dude knew what joy meant in hard circumstances. And I'm not in jail. And so I really have no excuse. <laughs> um, but I do think about that. I think about this reality of what we have access to. And in order to shift um, and really gain access to all that we have, we have to shift our minds. We have to shift our focus. We have to put God in his proper place. And we have to start thanking him for what we do have and trusting him with everything else. I pray that this meets you. I pray that do depression and oppression and any kind of heaviness lifts right now in the name of Jesus with just a shift of focus. I bless you and I will see you again soon.